Can I get an ah woman? Uh, what the fuck is an ah woman? So be it, bitches. I think Congress has gone woe mental. Woe mental. A woman. A woman. That's right. Alex Smith got one leg. No arm, and he's still better than Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> Hail to the motherfucking Redskins. Oh, I'm sorry, the wah, 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 Washington football team. Oh Shout out Chief Wetzel, Blackie, my dude. <laughs> Seven and nine, playoff strong. Thank you, Doug Peterson, for the assist. <laughs> Are the scars guards just the Baldwins with an accent and a little talent? Slightly less anger issues. Well, speaking of the Baldwins, I don't know if Hilaria's accent is real or not, but I know one thing. Alex's gonna beat the truth out of her. Yes. <laughs> right? Y'all know that men and women on their period are the best drivers. A little testosterone boost. This is biology and statistics. <laughs> testosterone gives you a little better spatial awareness. It's either that or because you pull over to the side of the road to cry for <laughs> <laughs> I think for 2021, everyone should be like, baby dolphin. Ah, ah, ah. They're safer than sharks. Sharks fucked up 2020, didn't they? The fucking thing. <laughs> Nashville's dead, if you ask me. It's not because of Ryan Rummel in a camp camper. Because <laughs> every song's about a hashtag or skinny jean. Right, every Taylor Swift song's like, I can't keep a man, but it's all their fault. Maybe if you did some squat thrust, <laughs> you wouldn't look like an iPhone from the side view. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with T-Swizzle. <laughs> Bet y'all didn't know I can cook. Huh? I cook kind of like how I am. Like it ain't cute. <laughs> but once you put it in your mouth, <laughs> This <laughs> heifer says to me the other day, she said, you ain't inclusive. I was like, bitch, I had a lady boy eat out my butthole in Thailand. Ain't inclusive. I just don't like, like fat boy his butt <laughs> in my face <laughs> or feet. I'm sorry, ham hocks, whatever you call it. Hey. <laughs> If you can make fun of my pathetic little pecker, I can make fun of your selectively shortened lifespan. Oh my God. Y'all have a good New Year? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. New Year's is just another day to me. You know, if I wanted to see a ball drop, I just turn up the heat and grab my ankles. <laughs> Ain't but one ball to drop. 
It's a Schwinn accident when I was 11, Joe. Uh, I'm scared to tell some of my Hollywood stories. You know, I don't want to end up like an overseas military ballot. Just disappeared. <laughs> Hollywood to me is like when you find out the love of your life is just some two-bit trifling asshole. Right? The more you see, the more you've been exposed to. Mitch McConnell's neck looks like his nutsack. How would I know? He's been fucking us all for decades. <laughs> this is how I feel about the mask. However you feel about it, don't go on Facebook and get carried away. <laughs> Y'all ain't got better shit to do with your day. <laughs> but if you happen to be shaped like Chris Christie, <laughs> you might want to waddle on down to that vaccine line. <laughs> Richard Weck looks like big bone Beetlejuice. <laughs> Richard Weck. <laughs> I love that, Billy. Shout out to Kamala Harris for celebrating her first Kwanzaa. That somehow reminded her of her childhood. Growing up in Canada with Indian and Jamaican parents. A holiday from Africa that wasn't popularized till the early 2000s in America. <laughs> but I bet you Biggie and Tupac was playing in the background. <laughs> I love you, Brian Barr. <laughs> Suck it back, Apollo Nerds. Right. Get him one more time.